Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about the conditional statements and loops in R. So the conditional statements and loops are uh, common to all the programming languages and R is not an exception as well. Let's first see what are the different conditional statements we got in R. We are having three different statements available, the regular if statement, else statement and else if statement. So for the demonstration of these conditional statements, I'll be using R Studio server. So let's start with the very first thing here. Let's see how we how we can make use of if statement. The state the syntax says if condition, then the condition satisfied, then expression will be called, right? Let's see it here. Uh, let's suppose I'm defining here x is uh, minus three. All right. So I'm, I got my x is minus three. Then what I want to do, I just want to go with the if. The condition is if x is less than zero, then my expression is uh, I want to print uh, x is a negative number. All right, this is what I want to print. Let's see what happened. Uh, let's run this. Because of the fact that x is uh, minus three, it is less than zero, so x uh, is a negative number got printed. So condition become true. All right, this is how we can make use of regular if, right? Next is else statement in which we just have a next portion available, else portion, let if condition satisfy the expression one will be called, else expression two will be called. So what I'll be doing, I'll be just be adding the else statement in the given thing only. So else, all right, so then I'm having else expression, uh, print, uh, I want to print like maybe x is a positive number, all right? So because of the fact that x is already uh, less than uh, zero, so, this, the only the if statement return uh, will be true and the same thing will be printed. Let's see it here. So this is uh, what uh, we got is uh, x is a negative number. So this is how we can make use of else statement, right? So it is called if and else. Next we have a else if statement in which there's an extra uh, else if available in addition to regular if else. Let's do it here as well. So if condition one, expression one, else if, condition two, expression two, else expression three. So here I'll be adding another condition. Let's do it here. Uh, the expression, I can add it here. So here I'm adding else if uh, x is zero. All right, I can have its own structure. Uh, print x is a, x is, x is zero, All right? All right, that's it. So we got now a if statement here. All right, then else if available, then I got my else also else all right that's it i guess it's done control a run all right so in this case x is negative number got printed and this is how we can make use of if else if and else right next one is uh, then we have a loops available so looping is another uh, uh, important thing in r so we got three different type of loops available for loop while loop and repeat loop this is how we can make use of for loop for this is the syntax of for loop. Let's get it started for value in sequence, then statement. Let's see it here, how we can make use of it. So I'm just uh, clearing this one. So let's suppose uh, I want to make use of now a regular for loop. So in this case, I can define that uh, I'm having this for condition and then I can have print x, all right. So in this case, uh, my, I've already defined the range here, right? The range is uh, from one to five. I want to print uh, this X. Let's run it here. So, wait. All right, let's see now the for loop got executed and I got one, two, three, four, five. So first five numbers got printed in the regular for loop. Next, we have the while available. So the condition, the while uh, says that we have a condition available, then we have a statement available. Let's do it here with the while also. So for this, I'm defining one variable. Let's suppose uh, maybe y variable is one. I'm defining so while uh, y is less than equal to five, then I can have uh, my print y and then y equal to y plus one. This is how we can make use of y right run again one to five got printed so first five numbers got printed this is how we can make use of regular while loop then last we have a repeat loop available in this case we have an extra break statement available let's do it here uh, so again repeat then statement if condition break all right so next one is again 
I'll be just uh, simulating this here only. So here I'm now having Z available as a variable. So repeat, all right. So first of all, uh, we can now uh, print Z, all right, Z equal to Z plus one. All right, so then uh, as per the condition, we have to now apply the uh, if condition here. If uh, Z more than five, then you can go with the break. All right, let's see it here. Again, one to five got printed. So first five numbers got printed with the repeat loop, right? This is how uh, we can make use of conditional statements and looping statements. I hope you must have understood both the concepts. See you in next video. Thanks. Thank you guys.